this time down. Uh, Carlson uh, handles the countdown as the launch vehicle uh, begins to build up. We're now hitting the four minute mark. Four, minute mar four minutes and counting, we are go for Apollo 11. We'll go on an automatic sequence uh, starting at three minutes and seven seconds. The astronaut, the uh, engines that uh, generate that thrust uh, uh, combined combined horsepower equal to 543 uh, jet fighter planes. Their launch is vehicle there weighs as much as the submarine Nautilus. They burn 5,662,000 pounds of fuel, the equivalent of 98 railroad tank cars of it, the capacity of a small town's water tank. Lift off, the noise reaches 120 decibels, and it's been compared to 8 million hi-fi sets playing at once. Neil Armstrong reported back when he received the good wishes. Thank you very much. We know it will be a good flight. Firing command coming in now. We are on the automatic sequence. We're approaching the three-minute mark in the count. T-minus three minutes and counting. T-minus three. We are go with all elements of the mission at this time. We're on an automatic sequence as the master computer supervises hundreds of events occurring over these last few minutes. T-minus two minutes, 45 seconds and counting. The members of the launch team here in the control center monitoring a number of what we call red line values. These are tolerances we don't want to go above and below in temperatures and pressures. They're standing by to call out any deviations from our plans. Two minutes, 30 seconds and counting. We'll still go on Apollo 11 at this time. The vehicle starting to pressurize as far as the propellant tanks are concerned, and all is still go as we monitor our status for it. Two minutes, 10 seconds and counting. The target for the Apollo 11 astronauts, the moon at liftoff will be at a distance of 218,096 miles away. We just passed the two minute mark in the countdown. T minus one minute, 54 seconds and counting. Our status board indicates that the oxidizer tanks in the second and third stages now have pressurized. We continue to build up pressure in all three stages uh, here at the last minute uh, to prepare it for liftoff. T minus one minute, 35 seconds on the Apollo mission, the flight to land of the first men on the moon. All indications uh, coming in uh, to the control center at this time indicate we are go. One minute, 25 seconds in the counting. Our status board indicates the third stage completely pressurized. 80 second mark has now been passed. We'll go on full internal power at the 50 second mark in the countdown. Guidance system goes on internal at 17 seconds, leading up to the ignition sequence at 8.9 seconds. We're approaching the 60 second mark on the Apollo 11 mission. T minus 60 seconds and counting. We pass T minus 60. 55 seconds and counting. Neil Armstrong just reported back. It's been a real smooth countdown. We passed the 50 second mark. Power transfer is complete. We're on internal power with the launch vehicle at this time. 40 Four seconds, seconds away from, from the Apollo, Apollo 11 the You can see the All water the down there. Can 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 35 seconds, seconds and counting. counting. We, are we are still going with, with the Apollo, Apollo 11. 30, 30 seconds, seconds and counting. counting. Astronauts, Astronauts report, report it feels good. good. Minus 25, 25 seconds. seconds. 20, 20 seconds and counting. counting. T minus 15 seconds, guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9, ignition sequence starts. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. All engines are running. We have a lift on. 32 minutes past the hour. Lift on upon Apollo 11. like a good trajectory so 
far. Altitude that's two miles. Very good, very good. That's, that's miles downrange now, 72 miles high, velocity 11,000 feet per second. Tracking it for quite a long period of time here with the Air Force cameras about 80 miles in altitude now and more than 200 miles downrange. And you still get a picture. Booster says it's looking good at five minutes. Then Houston, you are go at five minutes. Roger, you're Apollo 11, go. Downrange 270 miles, altitude 82 miles, velocity 12,472 feet per second. Flight S4B to COI capability. 